Hey everyone, this is Dr. Jyoti Bala. I welcome you all. In today's session, we are going to discuss about PubChem, a database which can be utilized by biomedical scientists, bioinformatician, biotechnologists, and cheminformatics. So in this session, we will be discussing about some overview and also along with that, we will be doing one practical demo. So let's start the session. This is a PubMed database. If you are new and if you are using first time this page and database, then I must advise you to use this URL first and come to this page first. If you are coming from bioinformatics, biotechnology, biomedical, chemistry or pharma background, this database will be very useful for your diverse thesis, projects and work. You can scroll and you can search different substances, chemical compound, phytochemicals, metabolite, or drug candidate. Already millions of data are present here along with their bioactivities and other information which is actually required for our diverse application. If suppose you are working at de novo level or some new candidate, then you can draw the chemical structure of your substances and chemical compound also. So let's start one demo and let's see how this page and database work and what kind of information we can gather from this database. So this is a PubChem site. If you're working in different project where you require informations about your chemical compound or phytochemical metabolite, in that case, you can come to this platform. Already millions of uh, chemical compound is bioactivity, assay-related information is present. If suppose you are working at denoral level, then you can draw the new chemical compound from the, this tool also. So let me take one example of one chemical compound phytochemical, which is derived from ashwagandha, which I have used in my uh, USA Miami projects. So let me take that, that example. So it is Vitafirin A, which is derived from ashwagandha. It has many beneficial role in terms of antimicrobial activity, antiviral projects. It has beneficial role in brain disorders and neurological disorders also. So let's take the example. It is a very renowned uh, phytochemical. Many people are working and using this phytochemical. So in this page, you will see a lot of information and data related to this chemical compound. So if you are a beginner, how you can utilize such kind of information? See, if you will scroll this right side, you will get the information about summary, structure, its name, chemical, physical properties, and so on. We should consider one point also here. Not every time we are going to get this much of section. Depending on what phytochemical we are searching for or what chemical you are searching for and how many people has already worked on that chemical. So how much scientific information is present? According to that only we can get the information. So vitaferin is a very renowned uh, phytochemical. Many people are globally working on this phytochemical. This is the reason we are getting so much of information. So depending on your chemical, the subsection might be sometime 18, 19 also, and sometime 10, 15 also. Okay. So now if you're new, you have to like consider the, you have to focus on the CID also, as we have discussed in Uniprot and gene card analysis in our past tutorials, that when we are writing any thesis or whenever we are writing any research article, we have to document this CID uh, code also. As I said, this phytochemical is known chemical compound. Many people are working. So at structure level, you can see two-dimensional, three-dimensional real crystal structure is available. Not every time you will get 3D and uh, crystal structure. Although by using this information, we can still draw and we can model the 3D. I will be in upcoming videos, I will show you how you can draw and how you can build your ligand structure for your diverse projects. So here, uh, you can get the structure information. Sometimes you will only get two dimensional data, but for other uh, uh, chemical compound, you might get 3D and real crystal structures. These kind of inf information will be very important who are working uh, at uh, computer aided drug designing, in silico drug designing, aptamer kind of project, or maybe you wanted to check the small molecule or metabolite interaction with different molecules, then structure will be important. You can either download from this platform and this database also, and from here also. 
whenever you are working and using any ligands, metabolite, drug, phytochemicals, its chemical properties will be very important because based on this molecular formula and properties, many of your wet lab experimentations and their designing will depend on these properties. So in the title and summary section, you will get these uh, crucial informations also. And based on that, you can utilize this information in your wet lab. The summary information is also present. So accordingly, whether it is beneficial or harmful, you can use these information in your projects also. The name and identifier, you can see IUPC name, incel ID, smile information, and different representation of this phytochemicals and this chemical compound. This will be very important when you are doing any other analysis and any other predictions for your different projects and different work, then sometimes they will ask you to provide you in cell ID, canonical smile. So you will come to this database and you can gather this information. And while doing those analysis, you can import these information for your further different kind of analysis. Like in our cases, we do phyto, uh, sorry, pharmacokinetics, ADME, toxicity kind of prediction. So for that purpose, we use this information. Then, for chemical compound, its physical and chemical properties are very important. So here you can find out and you can look that they have given you all sorts of uh, data related to how much hydrogen donor, acceptor, P log, uh, their surface uh, values, and other information. So different project will require different uh, values. So like in our drug designing, this hydrogen bond acceptor and donor are very important, P-log values are important. So according to your experiments, these values will be important, which you can get it from here. Similarly, for purity and for structural and confirmation data, this spectra data will be important. Sometimes you have to, if suppose you are not a student or a researcher, many a time you have to order these chemical compounds also. So during that time, they have given you all the chemical vendors informations also. As I mentioned, betaferin is uh, having beneficial and therapeutic uh, role also. So here you can see what is the status of clinical trials, how other people are using these things. So clinical studies and investigation detail, you will get it here. Toxicity related data, what I have shown you in my CAD related uh, tutorial and drug designing related tutorial. Pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics are very important. So toxicity is very important factor. So in terms of vitafarin, because it is having beneficial role. So what is the toxicity? What are the doses? What are the mechanism? What kind of studies people are doing? These informations are present here. And how vitafarin has been utilized in different experiment by different group all these literature and evidences are present here. Similarly, related to vitafarin, how other people are utilizing these things for other scientific work and therapeutic work, all the publication with the IDs are present here. So you can see SARS-CoV-2 has been utilized for SARS and uh, this kind of antiviral activity also. In my project also, I have utilized vitafarin A for anti-HIV activity. So both the viruses, uh, people has utilized uh, vitafarin A for uh, its antiviral activity. So all these different kind of projects and data publication are present here. So you can get this idea how vitafarin other scientists can utilize. You can also find out the in, uh, information about the patent also. Like from our uh, department also, we have filed uh, uh, this uh, patent for vitafarin A related to NDHIV project. So similarly, how other people are working on, whether they have the scientific work or patent, these informations are present. And in my previous videos of drug designing and CAD, I've already mentioned that pharmacokinetics and dynamic, where we have to uh, show the mode of action is also important. So for that purpose, how this therapeutic activity is coming, what is the molecular, interaction and the pathways which is involved. All those studies and these data are present here. So based on that, whether you can utilize with the frame for different project, you can get this information and how other people are using this thing for different purpose. So based on that, you will get some other informations also 
And suppose if you are not using a drug candidate, maybe you are using antioxidant or food supplement, then here you will find out few different additional subsections also. So I must tell you, uh, I must suggest you to come to this platform. Maybe if you're a student, practice with some ligands or drug candidate. And if you are a researcher who are already using this, uh, some chemical compound, you can also come to this platform and for your ligands, for your phytochemical, do the analysis. Hope the session was relevant for you. If you have liked the session, I would request you to like, subscribe and share the information. If you have any queries and if you want to learn these things, you can approach me and drop me a message also. And uh, do share these information among your scientific endeavor also. Thank you so much.